Welcome to another episode of Moto Deals Behind a Desk Home Edition, where we talk to some of your favorite personalities about motorcycles. Now, before anything, I want to remind you guys to please click the like and subscribe button so that you know when we have a new video up. Our guest today is an old friend who was actually one of the first guys to try and convince me to get into motorcycles a very long time ago. He's a well-known TV host, a great family man, and an all-around nice guy. I'm talking about Drew Arellano. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, Papa Drew Arellano in the house. What's up, man? What's up? What's up, bro? How you doing? Uh, you know, the quarantine life just makes me dream about bikes uh, and riding nowadays. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we, can't, we can't go out on the roads. Um, but hey, hopefully this is just temporary and we get back to uh, the way things were. Or at least a new normal that can, get, that can still have uh, what, what we enjoy doing. But, but right. Drew, let's, let's, let's get right to it. Uh, when did you start riding and why? Yeah, uh, it's funny. I'm not sure if it's the same with you, but I fell in love with those fat tires. It's it's always the rear rear side of motorcycles that really got me into like, whoa, whoa, what's that? That's, You're that's an ass man. Huh? <laughs> and, yeah, I know, right? I mean, at least at least with bikes. But I'm a mech man with girls. But no, no, no. It's it's like wow, it's, it's such huge tires and wow really sexy sexy butt um <laughs> but um yeah yeah that's why but i started back in 2010 I, I i bought my first bike it was a honda super four and then i progressed to another honda uh cb 1000 r it's a single r that time because i was still pretty much focused with triathlon i was competing yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, seriously, that's why I didn't get to do saddle time on my motorcycles. And then fast forward to 2015 nga ba when uh, Ducati launched the Scrambler. I, I've always wanted to have a Ducati. You know, back in 2010, parang my go to Ducati was my dream. Mm -hmm. Ducati bike was, you know, a monster because it's like a naked bike. And, yeah, yeah. It's it's you know it's, it's it's beautiful it's upright but uh yeah when when the scrambler the scrambler came parang uy, very interesting too and then it's very you know um like affordable you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Really yeah affordable and then the 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 reviews were like uy, galing, galing. actually pretty awesome marketing by Ducati uh by the way I think it it kind of started um the motorcycle scene again here in the Philippines yeah. you yeah. know um. So but yeah, the land so I, of joy is real. The land of joy is real, definitely. <laughs> uh, and till 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 today, I mean, I still have my scrambler. Mm -hmm. I sold most of my bikes, you know, in that era, like which is like five years ago. But I still kept the scrambler because I mean, you know, when you have like super, I guess lesser rider aids, eh, right? You only you only have ABS. I'm not sure. Well, I have traction control in scrambler, but it's it's so it's very pure. Yeah. But at the same time, it's medyo modern na din. So, hindi masakit yung ulo. Because yeah. back in the day, di ba, parang dati, ang, ang nickname ng Ducati, Ducati Rick eh. You don't know. <laughs> when you start when you start the uh, Ducati, parang you, you don't know the next day if it's gonna start or not. But the Scrambler era, you know, post-dry clutch era, okay na eh. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. And I like what you said there. That kind of uh, helped jumpstart I guess the motorcycle scene here in the Philippines again, like it mm. gave it, it yeah. gave it new blood. Uh, sure. And you and a group of your friends uh, mm. really influenced a lot of people to buy to buy scramblers. I mean, it it really uh, became a thing. Uh, Sam YG was telling me the story about how you influenced him. I think he said be eyed him <laughs> in, 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 in buying in, in buying one as well. Um, talk about that. Talk about the. I guess the community, the, the riding right, community, right. That, and, uh, and the different groups there are uh, around mm. the riding community. But when, you get, when everybody gets together, it doesn't matter. It, it, it almost doesn't matter you know, what, what you ride yeah. or, or sino mga kaibigan mo or whatever. It's right, right, everybody right. just gels together. I guess, I guess, uh, you know, I guess we ha we, we, the language now that we talk as motorcycle you know, enthusiasts, it's pretty much the same, you know, uh, language for, you know, cyclists. I mean, like Kuya Kim and probably uh, Sam also. Like when we see each other on the road, you know, mm -hmm. 
pedaling. You don't know you don't know the guy, but he's also on two wheels. You're like, hey, how you doing? How you yeah. doing? I think it's pretty much like Lalena when we stop over, like yung mga after fifty kilometers, we stop over, eat uh, I don't know, go to Paris or whatever, you know, sari sari store ni nena or whatever, wherever. Um mm. para, para yan, it's it's a it's like Edsa. It's the great <laughs> Equalizer, you know. I mean, <laughs> so everyone's everyone's equal. Yeah. You talk the same language, and I think it's pretty much the same as motorcycle riding, diba? Parang, um, sure, some some underbone riders could be a bit, uh, medyo, uh, uh, mas mas wild pag the things the road, I guess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, but pretty much the same. When you talk, you talk about being passionate about. Two wheels, diba? Yeah. It can be a one two five cc till uh, you know a twelve hundred adventure mm-hmm. bike. It's pretty much the, the same feeling that one gets. It's you know you know the wind against your face, or you feel the engine, the raw feeling in between your legs, and <laughs> diba? Parang, uh, all, and, and everything you know, um, and, and it connects everyone. There's no socioeconomic class, eh, na parang Ah, dito ka dahil ano ka eh, parang big bike ka or sabi oh. natin. Ah, you you ride the Japanese bike? No, I ride the European bike or Italian yeah, yeah, yeah. bike. Parang gone are the days. Gone are yeah. the days really. Before before may ganyan pa. Eh. Yeah. Pero now parang hey, okay na, kumusta yan or whatever, you know. So I think yeah. that's a that's a good thing. Yeah, I I remember uh, one of the hesitations I had in with entering the, you know, the world of two wheels was mm. how um, I guess people would would accept would, would be so accepting. I had no idea. I had no idea. And a major, uh, everybody was open. Everybody was so welcoming. Of course, there was people like you. There was people like Sam, uh, Kuya Kim, um, Sid, and a bunch of others who were always encouraging me to do it. But I, I never really. It took me a while uh, to to mm. get there. And when I finally did, the, one of the most you know mind blowing things about it, aside from the f- pure joy and thrill of riding was really the community. It's really something that I think um, is not talked about enough sometimes because the community is mm-hmm. super welcoming. I mean, we, we've seen it through a lot of the bike events that happens and everybody supports each other regardless of right. my, uh, you can say competitor or whatever, but it's, yeah. it's really a unified uh, group of people. Okay, let, let's talk about some of your bikes. Um, what? <laughs> I, let, we don't have to go through all, uh, but but let's go through <laughs> some of the some of the ones that 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 stand out the most for you. Maybe like your top three or top two bikes that you use the most, or that you one one your go to bike, the one that you use as as often as you can, and the other one, the one that you take care of the most. Na parang wey, ang special occasion tong bike na to. Or, or the- uh, all right, man. It's 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 funny because I'm you know I'm passionate with all of my bikes because okay. uh, it's it's it it serves one purpose. <laughs> and of course, you know, kanya But like yeah. for example, um, uh, I I guess that's why I'm so um like performance based and performance oriented when I pick uh bikes because when I want to ride it, it's rideable. You know, what I mean. No brainer. It keeps me safe. Um, so, like for example, when when I do my my biahe, you know, to shoot for my my travel show, I normally ride my BMW GS twelve hundred. Sure. Pretty much, uh, it's it's that or, you know, the KTM seven ninety Adventure R, which I just acquired a few months ago, and it just blew my mind. Yeah. Um. But but these adventure bikes, cause uh, mm. it's not gonna be your first choice when. Yeah. When you just entered this this community, you're like, no, I want I want sport bikes. <laughs> I, want, I want you know those really cool looking uh, you know naked bikes. But it's funny after after how many years the adventure bike is the bike to have. You know you can actually like not naman it's not naman parang spar no, but you can actually ride with fast people on fast bikes yeah. using your adventure bike. Yeah. It's it really depends on the level of you know uh, of how you ride, diba? But uh, your capability as a rider, but but it's for me because it's it's so complete. Uh, you've got rider aids, lalo na when I ride alone, because for sabi na natin six to eight hours, mm-hmm. I I I need to be confident that my bike will take care of me, yeah. and vice versa, of course, no. It, it that's my relationship with my adventure bike. But yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. going back to why I love my adventure bike is. 
nga, besides the writer aids, you can write it anywhere. Um, and you don't even have to second think na parang, oh no, are my tires are okay? You have your TPMS. Uh, ba? Parang, everything is there. Everything yeah. is there. Like, oh, if it's gonna rain, no problem. I can switch to rain mode. Yeah, or, yeah. ah, is it gonna be, oh no, uh, you know, from asphalt, it's gonna be, oh no, that's gonna be rocky and it's gonna be cakey because of the rain. It's okay, I got my 50-50 tires on. So, parang, which I can ride on cement as well. So, no problem. Mm. So, uh, you know, I, I, parang, you see hearts coming from, from my eyes when I talk about <laughs> my adventure bikes because they're so tried and tested. Yes. Uh, and I believe in them so much. But going back to the more performance oriented when it comes to uh, motorcycles that I use on the road, absolutely nuts with uh, my Aprilia Tuono 1100. Mm. Great. Uh, the reason why I got the Aprilia was because I want, I've always wanted to have a V4 engine. Um, the reason why I chose the Tuono over the RS V4 is that, you know, I was thinking, I got to be more practical. And as much as I want to go to the track as often as I want, come on, I, I, Clark is too far. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Batangas Racing Circuit is too far from where I live, which is yeah. Pasig. And I don't even have the time. Might as well get a naked bike that I, it's very trackable. So, yeah. Um, that's the reason why I, I got the Tuono. Man, the, the, when you start the engine with the Aprilia, mm. because of the V4 engine, it's just, I'm <laughs> telling you, it's, for me, it's the best sounding. So, you, you, it, I'm, I'm still in my garage, yeah. and I'm already like in heaven. Your, smi- even, your I, smile's I, like this now, you're just, <laughs> ear to ear. Yeah, and, and, and every time I, I tell that, I, you know, I, I tell this to the boys, that para, after our, like, Sabine Natin, four hour ride, I, I go back in my garage. Of course, I miss my family and everything, but yeah. I'm like, I gotta ride some more because of the engine, you know what I yeah. mean? It's, 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 yeah. just, it's, just, it's just a crazy bike. And, and I keep on telling this to everyone the thing is when you ride the Aprilia and I'm not even sponsored by Aprilia I'm just saying because I really love the Aprilia <laughs> the, why, why I love the Aprilia is that you control the bike okay not the other way around you know some beast you know beast of a bike they they, yeah. you know, they, they, they control you and you have to tame it this is the other way around mm-hmm. you're the master of the bike so you know, is, so you is there is, is there still a uh a pride of, of with Aprilia anyway that, that it's still fully Italian and it's still you know from Italy it still has that heritage do you, st- do you still not, think about things like that because there's you know no there's way. other manufacturers that are built in Asia or other places around the world but no wala, I, I actually wala. Wala ako, wala ako ganun, bro. I'm not a purist eh. I, okay. ako yung tipong, uh, ah, ah, it's, it's, I know because sometimes diba, parang BMW ah, ah, is it made in wait India, Indian Bayan, or oh, it's a scooter of BMW that's made in China. It's okay. I'm I go just as long as you know, I check out the reviews. Okay. Um, and then well I like for example, it's such a no brainer. Eh? I mean yeah. for, for the longest time now, the GS twelve hundred mm-hmm. is the master in its class for how many years now? And the Aprilia from all the reviews that I watch over the years, the Tuono is still the best naked. Yeah. You know, so Payan, it was such a no brainer for me. So even though I, I actually still don't know, is it made in China? Is it made in China? But it, it makes me happy when I ride it. It's still that's dependable. <laughs> that's very important for me, man. Yeah. Uh, and of course, if it's if if you're backed up by Lalo Nanao, it's a good thing that good service here in the Philippines when it comes mm-hmm. to BMW. And Lalo Nanao, but in Lang Biker Box brought in Aprilia. Yeah. You know, so at least uh, when it comes to maintenance and service, Okay, tayo dyan as yeah. end users. So, so you have a, a GS, uh, the KTM seven. Sometimes people have one or the other. They don't have both, but you you actually have both the seven ninety Adventure KTM and the. No, it's 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 totally different, uh, because yeah. the 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 GS twelve hundred. I mean, I've I've had it for for like two years now, and I've pretty much clocked in like more than twenty thousand kilometers already. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was my unicorn bike. Yes. It still is. Don't get me wrong. It still is. But when I heard about when I when I rode Ryan Seven Ninety, yeah. like it's a it's a great bike. But I choose the GS Paren because of the boxer engine where it's placed. Yeah. Diba? Center of gravity and everything. So high up talaga when it comes to 
you know, slow moving and then you're trying to, you know, balance mm. the bike. It's so easy. It's so easy. But then when I heard about the 790 with, you know, the, the fuel, the tank mm. is actually separated para mas maganda yung balance ng bike and it's low. I'm like, whoa, I got to try this <laughs> bike, which I did. And wow, wow. I have to say, I mean, half the price, it's yeah. such, a, such, such a great deal. Yeah. It's such a great deal, bro. So, yeah, that, that's that's one of the reasons why I'm like, oh wow, okay. I sold I sold two bikes. I'm like, okay, this is this is an affordable bike. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. But top ADV bikes for me, the GS and the 790 Adventure R. Now you mentioned you also have a Fuxan, a I uh, know a Triumph. Right, right. Because a few years ago, I really wanted a modern vintage, mm-hmm. and the Thruxton R is actually a trackable bike. Okay. Uh, full all ends, man. Uh, front and rear, it rides so well. It rides so well. Um, the ergonomics, it's like, uh, it, it's, it's a bit low, but it's not too low. Hmm. You know, it's, it has that sport bike, you know, um, geometry, but it's not medyo masakit sa, sa likod. You, yeah, you can actually do a long ride, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then the, 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 the sound of the engine, is amazing and how it looks for me it's just number one it's just yeah, crazy yeah. how it looks man foggy talaga. all the de- foggy talaga, lalo na yung, yung the, the new motorcycles that the triumph is making now the parang the detail of the triple clamp you know everything like what you see about the riding sensation yes but at the same time you know the, you know eye candy is just mm-hmm. amazing it's just yeah. amazing yeah. So mm. What what bike, if if any of your bikes, is is Ia's favorite? Does she have one? Does she? she yeah, no. She 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 used to ride my old hyper, my hyper eight to one. Okay. She got used to my hyper eight to one, <clears throat> um, uh, but I sold it already, and and I got uh, the the nine fifty SP, yeah. which is a bit higher. And she's of course she's not comfortable with tall bikes yeah so she she's riding it's funny um it's it's funny because um our gym is like two kilometers away so i ride my bike and she rides you know her bike and one time i'm like of course uh, and i'm i'm always most of the time i'm early you know working out at the gym and i hear a familiar sound i'm like (laughs) i know that sound and she rides my aprilia (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and she goes and she goes you know this is a powerful bike this is a really nice bike huh I'm like <laughs> all right okay <laughs> so yeah she she rides she she understands yeah well una muna, it was actually for practicality reasons um you know she she'd ride she she she'd uh she'd ride with me using my scooter my trusty Japanese scooters. Uh, and then she'd like, wow, like, wow, talagang, there's no traffic when you're on a scooter, diba? Yeah, and well, parang, yeah, yeah. It's so practical. Um, that's why, one, that's one of the reasons why na parang, I want to I, I wanna learn how to ride also. So that's what she did. It's, it's all about constantly learning laman talaga. Yeah. So yeah. like for, for wives out there, kasi diba, it's, it's automatic na parang, no, I don't want you to ride. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I, you know, I tell this to, to other people, you know, for me, um, money is not my currency. Time is my currency. Yeah, yeah. And if I can leave later using, you know, my motorcycle or scooter or anything, two wheels, to leave the house, spend more time with my kids, spend more time with my family, and at the same time, you know, um, come home earlier, yeah. then I have more time with my kids. So I hope for me, it's not just about buying a motorcycle, it's buying time, mm-hmm. which is a very hard thing to do. So yeah. yeah. Now, w- when this quarantine is lifted, what's the first right. bike you're going to take out and where are you going to go? I actually... I- it's it's like this, bro. Um, I do get to start and ride my motorcycle still, but because I need to bring food to my mother-in-law and mm-hmm. my mother. Yeah. 
Um, essential. Which essential. is yeah. Very no, no, really, yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, at the same time, you have to take care of your motorcycles because yeah. you, need to start you have to yeah. start. You need to start them at least, and then you have to kahit pa paano, take them out. Ga- yeah, but garage or two kilometers. Yeah, yeah, two kilometers away lang naman, and then one yeah. kilometer away. But um, I, I. I give love to all my motorcycles and I um medyo uh, shared yan shared bro equal yan equal equal, equal love <laughs> equal love um of course I don't get to ride the the scrambler as often yun yung ginagamit ng wife ko yeah um but yeah equal love bro equal love yeah. you know there's a, I I've noticed a lot of people out there um a lot of the guys out there who are married and or have a lot, you know, long time girlfriends, their biggest hurdle is really getting their partner, their wife, uh, to mm. agree for that to for them to buy the bicycle. Uh, we we did for talk sure, about for sure, yeah, we talked about it Definitely. a while ago. What was mm, that mm. moment, or what was it like to convince your wife that it was safe, it was okay, and then eventually she started riding as well. Yeah, well, it, it actually started back in 2010. Yeah. Um, she was my girlfriend at that time, but um, it was more for my it was more for my parents. Okay, I told my parents, you know, so that you you guys ha- will have peace of mind. I'll take all the motorcycle I know classes mm-hmm. there is available. So I took all of them just just to educate myself. Yeah. It's very important kasi, because yeah. it's so easy to invest in a motorcycle and accessories, but a lot of people forget to invest in yourself. Right? Mm, yeah. You have to invest in proper training. It's, 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 for, for us, it's constant learning. Even though we've done California Superbike School every single year for the past how many years, here and abroad, parang, it's, of course, it's, it's not just about having fun on the track, but it's always, dude, the learning never stops. Eh? The yeah. learning never yeah. stops. Yeah. And and my wife at well at my girlfriend at that time, she 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 knew that I because when I when I, when I when when I like something I go all out mm-hmm. you know like when when it comes to triathlon I go all out you know I I you know I, I study what I need to study all the all the technical side of the sport and whatnot for me to get to get better so pretty much she knew you know my mentality. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's mamba mentality, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but you know, I just it, it's pretty much it's sort of like mamba mentality because you want to be better. You yeah. want to be the best version of yourself. Yeah, diba? So it was easy for her to understand. Na, all right, I I I have I I've got trust in you. I have faith in you. So can I ride also? <laughs> so yeah, I think that's that's how it started. That's how it started, bro. Okay. Um, and well, I mean, aside from taking all the classes, because uh, I, I was going to ask you about if, you're, if there's new writers out there that you, mm. who want to get into it, uh, what advice mm. you would give them. But you did mention the classes, and I agree 100% that you need to take as many mm. classes as you can. But aside yeah. from that, what other tips or advice can you give the possible new writers out there? Uh, it's just like this. Eh? Before, it's uh, just before, parang meron kang kutob. Back in the day, like, oh my God, mm. may kutob ako. There's still that scare. Because you're not confident as a rider. Oh my God, am I gonna ride tomorrow? Takot ako, baka magkaroon ako ng aksidente. Or whatever, choo 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 Before, may ganun pa akong feeling eh. Pero, as in, nawala yun talaga when, when I just educated myself. Okay. No more second guessing. Because it's, it's, it's like, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like, you know, Steph Curry shooting from half court. It, dude, that's not luck. You know, he 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 did all the work. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He did all the work. So it's it's pretty much like that. You just have to do the work, educate yourself, and there's no second guessing. Sure, when they when people tell me, but there are still other, you know, uncontrollable forces na mababanga ka ng coach or whatever an underbone rider. Sabi ko, you know what? I'll tell you this. When I ride 68 hours by myself, I'm totally focused. Mm-hmm. And I love that focused feeling. You're thinking of other things. Yeah. Oh, for me, I'm, I feel I'm safer when I'm riding my motorcycle because I'm focused. And I'm just doing one thing. Mm. I'm just doing one thing. So yeah, 
pretty dude. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just gonna go back to what I you know I keep on yeah. saying that you just have to educate yourself. Um, you mga nitty gritties na kasi is gonna be coming from the things that you need to learn. Yeah. You know, like tire pressure. You know, you check your batteries. Mm. Um, but but ako for me to make your the people that you love feel confident that you're riding you're riding okay is by educating yourself yeah. it gives, gives you more confidence no second guessing and you'll be a safe rider you'll get home okay well drew thank you very much for your time um i i wish that you know we we would be able to catch up in a different uh <laughs> in a different way <laughs> <laughs> Not, yeah, like this, uh, not, not like this. Not like this. Yeah, um, dude. But but hopefully, uh, when this quarantine is lifted, we can go for a ride. Definitely, bro. Definitely. Can't All wait. Right, All right. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. I'll see you, buddy.